This is The Witcher 2 Assassins of Kings. We're on Xbox Series X taking a look at this absolutely stunning experience. And I'm not totally familiar with this entry in the series. I've played a ton of The Witcher 3 and consider it to be one of the greatest games ever made and the definitive title of the last generation. So with that, we're just mostly doing a gameplay on this one. I don't really have the context to do a traditional review on it, but yeah, on Series X, we're retaining the Xbox One X enhancement. That means we're getting a, a native 4K resolution, we're getting uh, 30 FPS, and we're getting no auto HDR support, actually. I'm a little bit surprised, but um, yeah. That's generally how it goes. Are we brewing things? Is that what it's asking? No, okay. And we're just kind of showing off a bit of the game so you can see it in action and get an idea of what it is. So this one really, uh, I guess the combat can be quite um, tiring in this one, but it's still the same great Witcher experience that you've always enjoyed. Now, personally, myself, I'd really like to, at some point, see maybe like a Witcher pack or something like that. I think they'd have to... I'm not going to hurt you really clean up the first Witcher game, but I think, you know, if you got all three of them together in a mega pack, it would be glorious if you could kind of tie them together in a bit of ways, um, like they do with some collections. I think it would just be masterful. That's true. So anyways, we're playing as a bit of a younger Geralt here, as he's kind of dealing with certain kings, you know, going around doing his witching battling you make certain kind of choices in regards to the narrative and they consider it to be a non-linear game with a mature ses or system and setup here which if you played the witcher 3 you obviously know there's a high level of maturity and one incredible narrative but you can tell here with the visuals it, it looks really great it's very clean uh, it's a very quality sort of experience that runs very well quest tracking and it also loads a lot quicker too. Can I not open this? Unbelievable. <gasps> the Witcher's medallion. That's cool. So yeah, again, the whole herb system. This is just the tutorial. I thought this would make the most sense so that I could at least understand this one. Because I remember just everything people have told me. Uh, yeah, it's a little bit more cumbersome of an experience in comparison to the other ones. The signs, which is so old. Meditation signs. Press and hold the restore tutorial to restore the tutorial panel. Prepare the potion. Press LB and hold. Press and hold left bumper to access the quick menu. Begin meditating. Oh, okay. So that's how we craft things. Uh, are we making some kind of uh, healing potion? Cool. Item created. Great. So that's like the whole uh, medical element of it. Cool. Here you go, Sir Knight. Knock back this potion. Try not to vomit. Drink it. Insightful. You're still alive, so that bodes well. But you've got a ways to go before you're at full health. Now you have to sit and wait. You're no mutant, so it'll be a couple of days before you recover and we can get you out of here. Thank you. Are you just gonna chill for days? Oh, hallowed grief! Didn't have the chance earlier. I'm Geralt of Rivia. Of oh, Rivia. I wanted to try my luck in the arena. Oh yeah, there's an arena mini game in the menu too. This is like the enhanced edition version of The Witcher. Down in full two. They pounced upon me with their claws. Though broken, I managed to drive them off and crawl here. Pitiful story, but there it is. Hmm. That could mean some paid work for me. Doubtful. If the corpses weren't eaten, they would rot, emit a stench, and breed pestilence. Ah, oh, damn the dogs! The dogs. Those who fall in the arena, their bodies are cast into the ravine. The dead offer little in terms of diversion, I'm afraid, except perhaps to monsters. Ooh, that's what I am all about. I wanted to try my luck in the arena. But, some but no, we, we just we just had it with you. 
Oh, okay, I gotta, <laughs> I gotta make a choice. I thought I had to click a button to, <laughs> to do that. Okay, that makes sense. heard about witches is true. You ought to manage well in the arena. Thanks, Bolton. I thank you. And now, Geralt of Rivia, if you've no objection, I would finally like to get some sleep. Very well. But I'm just a poor witcher. Yeah, they definitely, like, they. you can see where the mechanics kind of got, like, cleaned up and expanded upon for, uh, you know, The Witcher 3, but, yeah, this is still, like, a pretty cool sense of scale. The trees there, not the highest of quality, but in the, like, the near ground, the trees actually look pretty cool. It's, like, a neat visual effect. I hope in our time showing this we get to run into, like, Jennifer or, or Triss. That'd be tough. Stick the hounds on ya! Got corpse eaters on this side, so I'll take your hounds any day. A jester, eh? You're all jesters. You all think you're troll till you enter the arena. No room for joking around in there. I'm not trying to be funny. I'm soaked and I'm freezing. Let me in. Ah, a vampire. I'll not let a bloodsucker in. <laughs> oh, no. I've got eels and garlic here. What do you say to that? I'll gladly submit to the eels and garlic trial and the running water trial and the beer trial. <laughs> in the beef trial. What you are. Evil crawls the night, corrupting the righteous. No, oh, jeez, just open the door. For the cock to crow. If the rising sun don't scare you off, I'll let you in. You want me to wait here? You there. <laughs> All right. Let's find a place to rest. That's funny. You just gonna have to sit out here a few hours? Okay. Till dawn? Open the door. I've waited the time. Still there, foul soul. Yeah, I'm still here. And the cock has crowed. As far as being foul, well, I may smell a bit. Has it got an invitation? It has. Then it may enter. Good luck to it in the arena. What a guy. Am I right? What a guy. But yeah, the loading and everything like that, much, much, like, super fast in this, right? Wait, what? Oh, just rotate the camera. Oh, wow, I actually killed that guy. It's pretty dark. It's definitely an interesting difference style of combat. Hello, Felix. Sure. I never do enough of this in The Witcher. Okay, well, we gotta... So this is why I hate tutorials. <laughs> he just keeps stabbing me. Okay, I gotta back up a little bit, because I'm too close. Jeez, come on, get the sword up there. Maybe I'm not timing it right. Yeah. 
I don't know what this wants from me. Sorry. Oh, I had it right there. Oh, crap. No, I keep missing it. Where did that count? I did it. Okay. Finish him. That was some good witching you did there, Geralt. Oh, he's finished all right. Oh, that looks kind of lovely. Okay, let's cast the magical spell, Quinn. Okay. Careful! He angrily defeated the king's guards. Okay, why is this not activating? Careful. Tutorial suck. Cast the Quinn, okay. There we go. Jeez, what was I doing around there? In the Witcher! Ugh, man, I'm not one for tutorials. Cast the exit sign with somebody by pressing Y. Just keeps like down doing it. Oh, I still have. Why, why do I still have Quinn down? I picked the other. <sighs> no, pick that one. You're killing me. Help me, gargoyle. Become my friend, gargoyle. Fight that creature for me. That mythical creature. Oh, jeez. Good thing I'm, like, invulnerable, am I right? I just like to use the fire. Oh, that's pretty easy. Oh, gee. <laughs> Knocked me down. I had items in a chest. This is some riveting experiencing of uh, RPG action here. Is this in the chest? What, what am I doing? Uh, open the inventory to place items in quick slots. Okay. And daggers. Okay. A lot of quick management there, eh? Wow, that was real exciting. <laughs> Yeah, this is kind of a really interesting system here. It's it's not bad, but yeah, it's a little bit more cumbersome than the uh than the third one, I think. Just wanna like stab these guys up. I assume it means it wants me to set another trap. Let me guess, then I have to use the final thing with the daggers.
I thought I already selected it. There we go. This is uh, not the best dagger system in the world. He's not dead yet? He's like right in the skull. Yeah, I'm kind of wasting daggers now. Oh, uh, I have leveled up. Wow, that's a lot of stuff I could do. Yay! Attributes, cool. Oh, did I not do all this? Okay, I gotta do this. Final trial one. Oh man. Okay. Well, don't I want to use my uh, potions? I guess we could give this a try. Wait, is this just gonna be like a combat thing? I guess we'll kill this guy and then we'll leave the tutorial and begin our adventure on the land. Yeah, we know what we're doing. Let's do this. Ooh, text on the screen. That's exciting. A portrayal of witches, anonymous. Ooh. Six years have passed since that memorable day with the northern kingdoms. Their forces united defeated the host of Nilfgaard in open battle at Brenna. Famine and disease reign in all the north. Elves and dwarves inhabit ghettos in ever-increasing numbers. They flee to the forest to join Skartarael units. In Temeria, an unidentified assassin attempts to murder King Foltest. The killer dies at the hands of Geralt of Rivia, a professional monster slayer. A month passes. <laughs> On the banks of the Ponta River, Foltest's army is victorious once more, ending civil strife in the country at the price of this. Okay, we missed that. Temeria, the year is 1271. We gotta go a little bit fast for me to be able to read that out. Oh well, what happened to the intense tutorial action? I assume we were gonna that, that kind of mattered to what we were doing. As always, looking scarred and cut up. It's not easy being a Witcher. Where's Dandelion? Oh, the yellow eyes. Come on, sixes. Daddy needs you. Dungeons oh, of the Valet Castle. Twenty orange to granddad. <laughs> Looky there, he's awake. You daft! Don't go in there. Shut it. He's in chains. Can't do a thing. That's what All you right, think, Master Geralt. <laughs> roll again. Why? The dice didn't roll. Calling me a cheat. Take it back. Look, he's awake again. Monster slayer, my ass. A regular horson. 
I heard witches all start out as roadside orphans taken in by mages. Mages who experiment on them. True. Folks say they plow witches come the equinox. That's how they get those spooky eyes. Enough! Take him down and put him in the interrogation room. I thought you died. You guessed wrong. I'm not so easy to kill. I don't believe we've been introduced. Vernon Roach. Fuck you. <laughs> Nasty. But after we've been through so much. Same side of the barricade then. Opposite sides of the table now. You can change that. You want me to sit on your lap? <laughs> this! <laughs> Unshackle him. You will tell me everything you remember. The entire assault. And all that happened in the solar. And if I refuse? I shall have to beat you. I've commanded the special forces for a while. Got good at beating others. You're a witcher. You'd endure much. You better believe it. Worst case <laughs> scenario, you'll suffer through it, go back to your cell, and tomorrow, they'll publicly gut you, skin you, and hang you. Just like that? For nothing? No. For Temeria. Downright praiseworthy. Where should I start? It was a long day. I wish to hear the important bits. Just so we're clear on this, I was not eager to go into battle. But Foltest is not someone you refuse. Oh, okay. So we're doing like a flashback kind of thing. Anyways, I have to cut that part out back there. Who's that that we're with? Tell him I'll be there shortly. Sorry to intrude like this, milady, but the king. We heard you. Pleasant day to you, milady. Witcher. Unbelievable. <laughs> stupid war. Could have been such a beautiful morning. A war can never be stupid when waged by your king. They've cleared the forests, they're pillaging nearby villages. And they'll soon be murdering each other en masse. Why? Because Foltest's having a spat with the mother of his bastard twins. This is a really stupid war, Triss. Bastards or not, the children are still royal blood. The Lavalettes are an old Temerian dynasty, and the mix is sufficient basis to fight for the crown. History has known stranger contenders. Which doesn't change the fact that... I know. Foltest and the other northern monarchs are neither the smartest nor the most refined. But they're kings, one of whom we serve. And I'll see Foltest is summoned, protect him if need be. But once the castle falls, we leave. Did you dream of the wild hunt again? Always. Mm -hmm. Triss is always number one. I'll join you later. Well, what else you gotta do? She's always a stunner. I'll join you later. 
But why not now? Oh wow, this is actually a pretty large scale for this era. That's impressive. Hello, good folks. Seems like a good day for a war. You have a question for me? You? Who is that over here? Who wanted to hear from the Witcher? We know each other. Don't recognize your old mates. We're the Crinfrid Reavers. I lost my memory. As did Boholt. After the hunt for the Golden Dragon, he took a spill and hit his head on a rock. He can still be a beast in battle, but besides that, he don't do much save eating shit. Rarely even lusts after women. <laughs> I doubt that's amnesia. I'm Kenneth. I doubt that's him. <laughs> called Desperate, and this is new boy. He's uh, apprenticing with us now. I haven't had much luck with the monsters of late, so we enlisted. Now new boy's gotten itself into this wager situation. Would you help us for old time's sake? I mean, we all got a little riled. But those are bygones, as I see it. We'd have set you free. The sorceress, too. Boholt was just fooling about the raping and all. What rape? Shut your trap, Desbrit. The Witcher don't remember. Waste of words to remind him. But old mates, that's that. So you'd have raped this old mate? Just the sorceress. You were there to kill the dragon, the sorceress too. The peasants wanted at it, everyone did. But there was only one prize, and we argued. There was some commotion, a regular rumble in fact. We tied you up like hogs, meaning you and the sorceress, and went after the beast. The dragon thrashed us so hard, we spent the next half year licking our wounds. And you done freed yourselves of your bonds. Who was the sorceress? Raven Ed she was. Remember her name, Desperate? Uh, Conifer or some such. Yennefer? So, willing to help some old friends, Witcher. Sorry, I'm fresh out of time. The king summoned me. Ah, piss off, Witcher. You haven't changed a bit. Just plowing a different witch. What Damn right. New boy, grab your sword. You only live once. Let the knighthood see that we Crinfred Reavers. Wait, this sorceress. No time to help your mates. We'll be glad to stop and talk about some bird, eh? Maybe we ought to try this talisman on the Witcher. We'd hang. He's the king's favorite now. The sound of the assembly. That's us. I feel like a git going out in knickers alone. You sure it'll work? Let's go. <laughs> Isn't there like more cool stuff back here? I just love the the details of the cap. I think it's super cool looking. Oh, these guys are injured. Oh, is what's her name here? You're a fool. See, now nah, probably not. I know him, he's tough. He'll bounce back, you'll see. Disease. He'll kill many a lover let. Is there like a sprint? Is there practice in? This feels really expansive, though. I'm actually kind of yeah, surprised about the scale and the scope of this one. It's the trebuchet. A beautiful day for battle. Fear not, Excellency. We're out of range of their arbalists. I am no warrior, sir. I must admit, I prefer to joust verbally or with a pen. The emissary of peace. That's that some crazy siege weapons. Finally, traitors of the realm boil tar on the walls while you dally with the royal advisor. How may I assist you, sire? <laughs> we mount an assault today, and you'll be at my side. Follow me, gentlemen. Let's not keep the traitors waiting. Sire, you said we were out of range. That was a ballista, Excellency. Its arms strengthened with bronze plates and strung with horsehair. It can propel heavy bolts up to a mile away. A deadly and very costly weapon. An experienced crew can cock and release two bolts each minute. Yet it has one flaw. Your Grace, please take cover. 
The recoil of the arms is so strong upon firing that the weapon shifts. It simply cannot hit the same spot twice. I had <laughs> no idea your grace was a learned military engineer. I'm not. I gave the Baroness those ballistae two years ago for her birthday. What say you, Excellency, of men who live in spite of such wounds? And what say you, Your Grace, of soldiers who inflict them? Those who did this live no more. Damn. Master Geralt, I wish to converse with you once the storm of battle has subsided. Forgive me, Excellency. I plan to leave the royal court as soon as possible. Might I know why? Too often they take me for someone I love. What do they call you, soldier? Wait. You served with me at Brenneran during our foray into the Pontar Valley. Norman Sadel. Still an arbalist? Yes, sir. Fight has not been kind to me. Ha! Norman Sador. For your years of faithful service to the Crown, I appoint you Decurion of the Arbalists. Onwards, gentlemen. No reason to dawdle. And that is uh, basically The Witcher 2 for now, I guess. It'd be fun to do more, but oh, Forgive my I think we're going to get drawn into a battle. But, uh, I must ask, what fate awaits the royal bastards when oh, my shoulder. they're my children? <laughs> if I hear bastard one more time, someone will die. Painfully. Your grace, forgive me. But the laws of succession are irrefutably clear. Piss on the laws. I'll change them if need be. Above all, I'll not allow a band of treacherous barons to use my children as their banner. Your Majesty is entirely within his rights. Adder is dead, and I have no other children. I see. This conversation is over, Excellency. Please retire to your tent. Black ones in my camp before a battle. What has the world come to? Nothing would make me happier than returning his shriveled head to Emir in a sack. But Triss Merigold insisted I be patient and courteous. Was I? I could have been myself. Ha! I always knew you were one of us. And bugger what folks say. They talk about Adder no end. Have you learned anything about the assassin? Nothing new, sire. Months passed and we don't know any more than we knew when we began. This investigation's going nowhere. My agents have learned little also. But we'll find the culprits. It's just a question of time. Now for the battle. I want you at my side today. Then you may go where you please. Thank you, sire. Where are you aiming, imbecile? Soldier! Spyglass! What is going on up there? The gods! Count at your valley! Catch, Witcher. Aim for the rogue with the red plume. Not six months ago, he swore eternal friendship to me. Quickly! How much higher? This guy? One and a half degrees. Bastard. He's down. <laughs> ha! One less traitor. Time to attack. Follow me, Witcher. Oh, we're doing the battle. She need do is to kneel before her king. Very noble of you. Are you mocking me? Never mind. I'm certain Louisa will realize her mistakes. Besides, children should have a mother. Lost. It's quite simple. Louisa and I had a bit of a tip. She made demands I could not fulfill. Understand? I 
think so. Count Echeverry and others immediately intervened, all noble, all sympathetic. They claimed the evil king would take her children. They would protect them, even place them on the throne. And the Baroness was duped. A motherly love used. In truth, they desire privileges that would weaken the throne. Going in country there, you wife! And a long road at you know. Actually, pretty excited for this battle. <laughs> this is like Witcher epicness that I've uh, definitely been waiting for. Look alive, man! Hail to the king! Oh, this is gonna be intense. What? This tower was ridiculous. It was designed to break the rebels' morale. A bunch of lords and lordlings took a ride to then pompously stride on top of the walls, while the real army fought and died below them in the shit and piss-filled streets. If years of service have taught me anything, it's that the highborn don the best costumes and get the best vantage points, whether at a ball or a battle. But it's not the time for that kind of jousting, Witcher. Continue your story. Things went relatively smoothly after we came out of that tower. That is, until we ran into Arian Lavalette. Oh, was the assault happening? <laughs> to battle! Oh, jeez. <laughs> Gotta have a Witcher by your side, am I right? Oh, this feels nice and large scale and epic. Yeah. Fort Swan, you and your men shall follow me. We must capture or otherwise deal with Arian Lavalette in order to break the defenders' morale. Yes, Your Grace. Geralt, gentlemen, follow me for the glory. Yes. Oh wow, that looks crazy. A lot of arrows. Are we moving right now? It feels like there's infinite arrows being shot here. Anyways, that's a, a good point to kind of showcase and end our epic Witcher adventure. Kind of cool.